Oh my god, what a pleasant surprise! We're in Killer Sam 43 today. Alright, let's just get on with the video. So how's it going everybody? My name is JC Gaming and welcome to another Death Frontier video. So today, I mean, I know I'm very late to the party. I'm like the guy that came like, the party ends at 4 and I came at 4.30. <laughs> so yeah, I'm stupid late, but I just kind of saw this in the discussion. I mean, I never realized, I never really noticed it. So I mean, yeah, that's how late I am. But I mean, I got to give a huge shout out to Clayton. I mean, Clayton has been around since... I'm thinking like the beginning of Death Frontier 2D or 3D, but dude, this guy has been doing so much for the community. It's not even funny. I mean, dude, huge shout out to Clayton. I mean, what he's done with this uh, game and the mods, I mean, <laughs> amazing, amazing. I mean, I was just really pretty much skimming through this, and I mean, this enlarged map that, you know, pretty much can tell you everything there is around the, the, the you know, the map you, or the area you are in, it's very uh, helpful. I mean, currently toggled on by F, N, or N key, and then there's the advanced settings with the FPS and the anti alit Wait, is that Eliezer? Well, I'm saying that. I'm butchering that word. But but yeah, I mean, also there's other things like full screen fix. I mean, taskbar resolution, show FPS, and then there's some miscellaneous, which I feel like this kind of like makes such a huge improvement in gameplay because sometimes, I mean, you're looting and you're like, oh, wow, I found something amazing, but you never knew that your inventory space was out so now you gotta get out of there then you gotta open the menu and then open the inventory and then you know it and the thing with this game is that it glitches so sometimes you feel like okay there we go i emptied up the space and when you get out of it um your the loot is gone for whatever goddamn reason so i mean there are a lot of you know bugs in this games and glitches unfortunately but i mean him doing this kind of will help out that little bit of you know doubt when you open the menu or whatever um and then there's of course the barricade countdown the barricading every six seconds the 4.1 seconds and then you know there's the searching so i mean it's just amazing what a person that's very dedicated to a you know as simple as a thing as a game can do i mean we all seen them out there the modders they just improve the gameplay altogether so i mean admin i mean pay this man already right unless you're already paying him and then just say yo great job because honestly it, it's really good so i mean without further ado let's just install this real quick all right so let me see what i have to do uh, download the file. Okay, so we're gonna download this. Cool. Um, extract this to your desktop. Okay, so we're gonna. Is it really my desktop? The freak. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna install different clear. Open the. Okay, open the. the different tier mods package folder and drag. Oh, 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 okay. Oh yeah. Actually, okay. Cool. Okay, now open a different mod and drag the crosshair magnet into this folder. All right. All right. Okay, 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 hold on. I, I, I got this. I got this. Enter the what? Uh, continue. There we go. Cool. Okay. Drag the assembly unit screen into the manage folder. Drag all. Oh. Into the manage folder. Okay. Put this in here. Sweet, sweet. Okay. Uh, click replace. Okay. I replace file destination. Okay, continue. Just just keep doing it. Okay, sweet. Uh, you should now be able to run the game and see the mods on the client. You can also delete the Death Frontier mod cat. Okay, so he said it should work. Alright, so let's just try it out real quick. Alright, so here we are uh, testing this out. So, I mean, let, let's just see. I mean, first things first, I'm going to try as a mini-map. I mean, dude, that, that just looks fucking fantastic. Like, I mean, come on, man. You couldn't have done this. This is beautiful, dude. Like, let me see. Okay, let, let's not judge very quickly you know let, let's see how good this mod really is all right let's see you know what would be also be cool if, like if, there, if the mini map can tell you if there's a boss around you all right well i kind of miss his account it makes everything so much easier <laughs> all right give me a second all right so yeah i mean it tells you where the loots are where everything is so let's see here uh yeah i mean just this dude amazing amazing clayton it just looks fantastic to be honest i mean this could it's, again just little things like this will improve the gameplay and like in ways you never really imagine, you know, we don't need a huge update. We just need little things like here and there to just keep the gameplay kind of like fresh, you know. I mean, just just that kind of searching thing down there, it's it's pretty, it's pretty awesome, honestly. All right, hold on, let me see this around. All right, so again, it tells you where the loots are, right? Yeah, see, look, <laughs> that's just that's just cool, man. That's awesome. All right, see, three, two, one, and it tells you the space is correct. Yeah, you have 19 spaces, uh, inventory spaces remaining. So I mean, there's that. I mean. Dude, again, fantastic. All right, so the next thing I want to try out is what was I gonna try out? I kind of forgot. Um, oh yeah, the crosshair. All right, so let me just try that out real quick. All right, so we have this right. 
Target FPS. Dude, can I do more? Oh, let's give it a shot. Uh, show FPS. Oh, that's that's awesome, dude. My my, my computer doesn't really like <laughs> doesn't even need that. Uh, what else? Uh, and then where is the uh? How do you call it? Damn it. Uh, name outlines, highlight climates, whatever. Uh, show backpack, PvP mode. All right, just give me a second, guys. I need you to figure this out. Uh, is it here? Oh, here, crosshair settings. I said I can change it up, correct? Oh, sweet. Right, I'm gonna try that one and make it, make it huge. Nah, I'm gonna leave it like, like too dirty, maybe. Color weapon selection. <laughs> that is awesome. I mean, I guess. <laughs> the crosshair. Dude, it's, it's so sick. It even turns rainbowish too. Alright, let's see here. Uh, dude, it's just fantastic. Alright, give me a second. I'm a little again again, it's there's little things like these that just improves the gameplay altogether to be honest. It's, it doesn't have to be anything major. Don't get me wrong. Gameplay, um like in terms of like gameplay, um there I mean a huge update will always improve the game. But I mean little things like this, like I repeat again, I'm sorry for like sounding like a broken like a broken record, but like it's just so satisfying. It really is. Alright. Just give me a second. Okay. Alright, so I mean yeah, I can't wait to try this out on the on the week account, which is uh JC. I hope you guys have been enjoying that series real quick, but this isn't gonna be a very long video. So I mean yeah, I mean again it's not gonna be a very uh, long video. It's just gonna be like, you know, just saying thanks to Clayton. But yeah, I mean uh, this is gonna be the end of the video. I again sorry for such a very like kinda unprofessional and just, you know, going with the flow kind of video. But honestly it's just I just have to give uh, Clayton a huge shout out. I mean for other people that know how to mod, don't be, uh, don't kind of be shy. Just do it. I mean, if people don't like it, you just simply uninstall it. What do you have to lose? I mean, it, that is, I don't know how he did it. I guess Admin kind of um, approved it, but yeah, I mean, just give it a shot, guys. Maybe you guys can be the savior of that Frontier 3 thing. I mean, dude, sometimes players do save games <laughs> that, you know, the, the creators never really thought of. So yeah, again, this is uh, JC Gaming signing off, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Again, good job, Clayton. Take care.